this is Driver Dan Audio with Jonathan Moss. Stylus travels along the valley that is the record roof. A very long, very narrow spiral from the outside to the inside. Undulations pressed into the groove wall make the stylus vibrate as it passes by. But this makes the valley exposed to the outside world and all the contaminants that are out there. Dust from people and pets, fume condensation from smoke and food, finger marks, spills, you name it. All of which will get in the way of the stylus. The biggest contamination of all for the record group isn't from the user, it's from its maker. The PVC pellets that melt to make records contain mold release agents, oils to help get the record off the hot stamp. All records have this, even and in some cases especially new audio file pressings, which means your brand new unplayed record which you imagine is as pure as it can sound is already full of oils, flecks of plastic from the previous stamper, contaminated. Removing this is to me the most important thing about effective record cleaning. I can put up with the odd kick and pop. In fact, if there isn't too much of it, then it reminds me of what I'm listening to. But the oils clog up the groove, the stylus has to wade through all of the, this sludge, and like when you're swimming underwater and hearing voices above, it muffles the sound. Proper record cleaning reveals the true clarity in the groove. Of course, none of this is a problem if you've got an effective means of removing all this stuff. There is an alternative that does this job in a fraction of the time and it's been sitting quietly in the background in archives and libraries doing it for 50 years. Record cleaning should be a joy, not a drudge, and that's where the Keith Punk's point suction comes in. There are other brands that have come and gone that, uh, over the years that are similar, but don't need any advertising from me, but um, it filled a void. You know, I'm philosophical about it. They filled a void during the time Dad retired before I started a brand new Keith Monks Audio to bring back his life's work to a new generation. But I still think that we have the attention to detail to do this in a, in a, in a much more precise, and much more productive way. Uh, invented by Keith Monks at the BBC in London for their radio stations, and since then has become the only system approved and in use in all the major sound libraries and music archives around the world, including the US Library of Congress and the British Library only system that can guarantee the most important thing in record cleaning. Zero recontamination every record every time. Your hundredth record, your thousandth record, just as clean as your first and you don't have to do anything but use it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's it. The process is finished and the record is completely dry and ready to play. Thank you.